Hey guys, it's Jordan with Florida Drone Supply. Today, I'm gonna to be giving an overview and comparison on the three popular DJI FPV goggles. So here we have the first release DJI Goggles V2, followed by the DJI Goggle 2, and the newest release DJI Integra Goggles. Each of these definitely have their pros and cons, so we're going to evaluate and compare them in the following categories. Compatibility, design and comfort, key features, and functionality. So in case any of you aren't familiar with these goggles, here's what you need to know. FPV goggles are not just an accessory, but a vital tool that will elevate the drone flying experience and enhance the line of sight for recreational flying, specific projects, or for public safety. FPV goggles offer fully immersive first-person views that are both stunning and creative. They also allow us to fly through places never before reachable in a safer and much more secure manner. So whether you're in law enforcement tracking a fugitive, or if you're a scientist researching a lava pit on a volcano, you can reduce distractions and focus 100% on safely executing the flight with extreme precision and with real-time results that just don't compare to capturing with a normal drone and controller. FPV goggles can now also be used with the DJI RC Pro controllers using the Fly app, which is compatible with all three models, giving us the ability to have an HDMI output for live streaming or remote viewing. Each of these goggles also allows the ability to have a second pair of goggles wirelessly connected to the primary, but the signal's not as clear for most of the time. When using the DJI FPV line of controllers and goggles, the learning curve is far less than a typical FPV aircraft, meaning that you can be up and running in just a couple minutes. All three goggles are compatible with the DJI simulator application, where you can practice in an environment that you can't break anything in but the only Motion 1 and FPV2 controllers are compatible with the simulator. DJI OcuSync 3.0, or better transmission technology, helps to ensure a stable connection, which offers dual frequency mode that automatically switches between the 2.4 GHZ and a 5.8 GHZ. Let's highlight some of the differences of the goggles in order to help you decide what is going to be best for you. After all, this is a comparison video. The DJI Goggle V2 is the first practical goggle to be released for use with FPV and utility aircraft. For design and comfort, the DJI Goggle V2 has a comfortable fit perfect for extended use. So if you wear glasses, they'll fit right over them, which means no need for diopters or additional lenses. The V2 makes the ability to pass them to another user on the fly without the concern of glasses or lens adjustments. Though they offer the most comfort, they are the largest of the three. Some users have said that they were a bit bulky. We have also noticed that the padding around the eyes has significant light leakage, which means you may want to purchase an aftermarket seal to help block out that light. They also have antennas protruding out that do not fold down like the other goggles do. So storing it for travel takes up more space unless you decide to remove those antennas. For compatibilities, they were designed primarily for the DJI FPV drone and were later adapted for the DJI Avada, the DJI Standalone, DJI Air Unit, or Cadex Vista systems used on custom FPV drones. On the utility drone side, the Goggle V2 is compatible with the FPV Simulator app, the Mavic 3 Series, the Mini 3 Series, the Air 2s, the DJI FPV controller, and the original Motion 1 controller only. If your aircraft is using Consumer OcuSync 3 or 3 Plus, chances are it will work with the Goggle 2. Since the V2 was the original goggle offered, it may seem like it is lacking, but not to everyone. First key feature is that the antennas are removable, and this is the only currently supported version that has that ability, which also means that you can upgrade and amplify it in general without modifying the goggles. Next, the battery is external. Now this can be seen as both a pro and a con. On the pro side, you can switch it out and fly all day, but on the con side, you have another cable to deal with. The screens inside the goggles are huge. They have a two by two inch screen, which is further away from the eye and allows one to focus for long periods of time without any strain. The 720p 120 frame per second display is sure to impress and be more than adequate for most applications. As for practicality, I personally like these goggles for long-term comfort, public events, and applications with multiple users. But once you're used to some of the more advanced features offered by the Goggle 2 and Integra, it may be hard to go back. Now for the DJI Goggle. Goggle 2. Let's first talk about design and comfort. The DJI Goggle 2 has slight improvements in weight reduction and distribution, coming in at two-thirds the weight of the V2 at 290 grams. 
its foldable antennas and form factor are more streamlined, but users have found it to be uncomfortable for long-term use. The goggles tend to pinch at the bridge of your nose and fit a little bit too tight on the user's face. They also require that the user removes their glasses and uses internal adjustable diopters. As far as compatibilities, they are like the V2 goggles and are compatible with the Mini 3 and Mavic 3, the Mavic 3 Pro Series aircraft, as well as the FPV, Avada, and standalone video systems by DJI. They are also, unlike the V2, compatible with both of the motion controllers, the Motion and Motion 2, in addition to DJI FPV controllers. They can also be used with the simulator, but only when paired with the original motion controller. This is due to the first of its key features. The DJI Goggle 2 has OcuSync 3 Plus and a crystal clear OLED 1080p display system. They also change from a five-way button on this model to a touchpad on the side, allowing users to navigate through menus and settings, which some users didn't like as much. They remove the screw-on antennas, which can be seen as a pro and a con, since it does lose the ability to customize easily, but it gains the ability to be able to fold for easy transportation. They also added a variable diopter that ranges from negative eight to positive two for those needing it, and a light sensor to save battery when not in use. DJI also reintroduced with the Goggle 2 a really nice feature on the original Goggle, head tracking, which used to be a very complicated feature and was really only usable with the DJI Inspire. But now with the Motion and Motion 2 controllers, after a little practice, it can be really useful. Head tracking allows you to be even more immersive, operating smoother with more natural movements and speed when you're trying to get that cinematic shot or clear an area under pressure. You simply fly into a room, look right, look left, and back out of the room the way you came in all in one fluid motion. So for practicality, I would give the Goggle 2 a really high score if it wasn't for the crummy fit on my face. I also like that it's remote ID compliant, but dislike having to have a phone or smart device tethered at all times for compliance. Now we have last, but certainly not least, the DJI Integra goggles. For design and comfort, DJI listened and fixed the way it fits to the face. These are both lightweight and balanced, fitting nicely to your face and making them much more comfortable. DJI says that the Integra goggles are a leap forward in terms of design, and I could not agree more. They are more comfortable, compact, and appealing. They fit snugly and can be worn for extended periods without any discomfort or light leakage. But I still can't wear my glasses with them. As far as compatibilities, they use OcuSync 3 Plus and are compatible with all of the same aircrafts that the Goggle 2 are compatible with. However, based on speculation alone, I would not be surprised, based on the release timing, that they may someday be the only version to be compatible with the Air 3 and with the Mini 4. Although those systems are using the DJI 04 OcuSync at this time, which may end up being a limiting factor. The key features, other than adding removable lenses for prescriptions of negative eight to positive two, the Integra is a mix of old and new. They took the best from the V2 and mixed it up with the Goggle 2, added standalone remote ID to boot, meaning that now you don't have to have a device connected to utilize the goggles and be remote ID compliant. They have also removed the touchpad and gone back to the five-way button. They made them way more comfortable, kept the head tracking, moved to a long hold on the power button for pairing, and made the battery internal so you don't have as many cables hanging while maintaining the two hour runtime and ability to charge as you fly. This makes the Integra the most practical of all three models for everyday use. They are versatile, compatible, and flexible. The only downside is the built-in battery cannot be changed. So if you are using the USB-C port to display on another device, you cannot simultaneously use that same port to charge. Thus, you have a two-hour operational limit and no ability to swap batteries. Also, if you have glasses, the changeable lenses are not easy, but honestly, better than the variable diopters if you know your prescription and have the lens available. If you don't have them, you would just have to operate without it. This is undesirable, to say the least, and it's not something you're going to want to change often if you don't have to. But it's still a viable option for those using glasses. So with reducing the confusion by removing the smart device and the battery cable, this is one of my favorite goggle systems to use. In conclusion, while all three goggles have their strengths, the choice really boils down to individual needs. The DJI Goggles V2 is perfect for those looking for broad compatibility with consumer drones. The DJI Goggle 2 offers a more cinematic experience. In contrast, the DJI Integra goggles are tailored for professionals seeking advanced features. Whatever your requirements, DJI has goggles to enhance your flying experience. Have fun flying and we hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth content. 
If you have any questions, hit us up by email using info at floridadronesupply.com or call 855-8-DRONES. As always, thank you for watching and happy flying.